Hello, my darlings. Let me know what you think of the volume of my voice and the volume of the music. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody got here early and started ch chatting. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to make my most complicated pen pal cards to date. Starting out with um, using some cardstock, some very light cardstock. My original um, test was on watercolor paper, but my punches had a hard time punching through. So I decided I liked the idea, I just needed to change the paper. Thank you for the compliment on my nails. These are the same ones as two weeks ago. I just took them down so they don't look so bananas. So the idea behind this is I'm making some fall leaves. And so this what so the watercolor is the mottled appearance of the leaves. So we build it up and we build it up and we build it up. kind of looks a mess until until it doesn't you have to you have to have faith hello everyone hello George hello lady Galaxia hello JL red Lorraine Jill hello Christy Art and me. Everybody's here. I know I'm missing some some names in chat because I have to look at my paper. <laughs> Greeting, greetings from Switzerland. comes together in the end. I know it looks like a mess. Greetings from Mississippi. I so enjoy your channel. Thank you so much. Hi Brandy. Thank you. So these are going to be the most complicated. Trying not to get blown away in Nova Scotia. Is it really windy up there? The reason why these cards are going to be complicated is because they have so many steps to them. The first step is to make this uh, watercolor paper that looks like mottled leaves. And then we add some glitter to that and then we punch out the leaf shapes from the paper so strap in it's going to be about an, I think it's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half 
try to make my second stream of the month be a little bit shorter than the one where I make um, the shrine because the shrine ones have lasted so long. It's also going to be a little bit like a cooking show where they show you how to prepare everything and then they pull one out of the oven that's done. In Virginia, we had two days of crazy wind. Tiffany's under a tornado watch. got two hours of rain yesterday that was all we get here we don't have weather weather is for other people Galaxia joined last month and can't wait. Oh, great. Did you get a card last month or did you join after I mailed them out? Let's try to sop up some of the really wet bits. you were here and I had a, a lot of episodes where I got up and had to go get another something or other so this time I think I have everything I think I don't I won't have to get up at all okay so let's try this you joined after So if this is too loud, please let me know. Kind of sounds a little bit like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs>
You signed up to pen pal, but you're not sure if you gave your address. Okay, well, if you didn't, I'll send you an email. Greetings from Indiana. I love your work. Thank you so much. I just realized that I forgot to turn the information on my camera off. That was one of my notes. to maybe remove it. Let me see if I can. stuff off the screen. Yay! Sorry for the weird technical difficulties, but now we don't have to look at that the whole time. Okay, so this is drying, and I will show you what one of them is going to look like, because I did one ahead of time, or two ahead of time. do is we're going to add some glitter and some mica pigment paint to the top so you can kind of see the sparkles here for the glitter and here's some of the mica and then there's also uh, some of the mica is like an orange color as well so there's gold and orange kind of see the orange about there And those three colors are coming from this paint palette here. This is our Samhain paint palette for Scarlet Nymph on Etsy. Bronx, New York. My name is Valerie. Hello. have dipped into these a few times so you can kind of see that they're, they're a little bit messy but it's this orange this gold and this gold so you can kind of see these are well used because I used them for my um, holiday cards as well We're gonna drip, um, we're gonna spray some water into these guys. Soften them up and get them going. Hello from New Orleans, hi there. So I'm just going to try and, um, it's not quite dry yet, so I'm going to dry it just a little bit more.
Okay, there we go. And you really want to, especially the glitter ones, you really want to mix up and get very, like, very, like, syrupy. Like that. So they really, like, get some good coverage. And these can be a these micro ones can be just kind of sheer. And I think this gold is my favorite. It's so shiny, but it's also sheer, so you can put it over. And the reason we do not have to be accurate about this is we are later going to punch out a bunch of um, leaf shapes. So you won't be seeing any of the mess that you make. You're only just going to be seeing little tiny vignettes. this dries, we're just going to do another project. Slimer? Really? Are we talking like somewhere around here? <laughs> I missed the shot. I moved the camera. And I moved the palette before I saw your comment. Hello, Alicia. Iron, there is uh, a link to this dryer uh, in the down bar. dry and we'll put away our um, watercolors and I'm gonna pull out some acrylic paint now and we're gonna do the actual um, the actual cards the folded cards
I am so glad it's relaxing for you guys. I, that's my favorite comment, I think, is that people have had a rough day and they just find this so relaxing. Meanwhile, I'm having a mini panic attack. Need some kind of anti-anxiety medication for these streams. I'm still very nervous. This is still very new. I'm sure after I do a bunch of them, I'll calm down, but... So here are um, the cards we're gonna do. They're already pre-folded and I've kind of uh, cornered the, rounded the corners on them. And they're just a craft, craft paper. Sorry about the jiggle. We're gonna use these for this month and I'm also gonna use these for December, I think. I'm gonna kind of have a craft paper theme to my Yule decorations this year. So I'm going to do a background with a little bit of um, acrylic paint. So let's look at those. So um, this is called, of course, perfect for the season, Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs> you guys are so kind. Uh, bright yellow. Yellow Citron. Mossy Meadow. And then, of course, because it's me, we have to do Glitterific. We have to do Glitter on top because reasons. Every, every project I have has glitter on it. I can't. I can't live without it. Bittersweet, I have a silhouette. I feel like I, oh man, I'll be dating myself, but I feel like I backed the beta instead of the VHS. Was the paint by the way any farting sounds you hear is the paint and not me <laughs> of course that one made a really loud sound not doing this on purpose I swear <clears throat> all right so this is gonna be another thing that looks super messy and then it comes out kind of cool in the end so just believe <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, one color of paint and we're just going to kind of crisscross. Kind of quickly and just keep doing them. We can kind of get the idea of what it's going to look like. We're going to do all the orange and then we're going to go back with yellow and then we're going to go back with the green. So the background will start looking like a patchwork of colors. I'm going to be sending off these cards with extra farts. I mean hearts.
and there's no rhyme or reason to this just a little bit here and there was thinking about trying to be a little bit more uh, relaxed on stream and so I bought um, I had done all the research for my anti-anxiety videos on what herbs were the most um, useful for anti-anxiety and one of the ones that um, I discovered was kab kaba ashwagandha um, chamomile and St. John's wort was it St. John's wort or was it it may have been lavender I'm trying to remember it's been a minute since I made that video I'm going to pull the camera a little bit further down because I'm not on camera Hello, Elegant. Thank you so much. So I ordered some kava kava as a liquid. And um, I thought I would, you know, just put it in my coffee or something before the stream. And I went to try it out yesterday. And I don't know how anybody can ingest this stuff. It is so... I couldn't even I had to go wash out my coffee cup I had to go brush my teeth after one sip I just could could not it is not the herb for me in inositol a vitamin that helps it tastes like dirt does the inositol taste like dirt or does the ca kava see the kava root is what I thought that the um, the tincture was made out of because I got the liquid form but it did not taste like dirt it tasted like a chemical burn on my tongue to chug it, chug it down in one gulp. Maybe you guys can suggest something that's less, that's a little bit more chill. I was thinking chamomile tea. Thank you, Cashley. Let's move on to yellow, shall we? I'm not going to be able to do all of these in one night. So we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do, we'll do ten of them tonight. Calms, they have a daytime as well as a nighttime version. 
Hi, Kay. I always want to do herbal supplements, but um, the th one of the things that I do uh, when I'm putting like research on a video about an herb is I always Google the name of the herb and then the word con counterindications or contraindications. Just, just in case. So now we're going to go in with our yellow. See how the craft paper really mutes the color. So um, even though I'm using a bright color, it's it's not going to come out bright in the end. Or at least not too bright. But I was thinking maybe some chamomile tea. But yeah, I think valerian root's a good idea too. I do have to drive home after this. I'm at my art studio, so I can't take anything that'll really knock me out. I have to stay conscious on the stream. Otherwise, I would just drink, you know, wine and art and wine night, you know, <laughs> if I didn't have to drive home. We could do a pen pal and um, Pinot Grigio. We could do um, Sacred Shrines and Syrah. Hey, this is starting to sound like a thing. Shrines and Chardonnay. Oh, that's even better, you guys, because it has the SH sound. Is catnip a calming? I always think of catnip as, as a kind of an herb for drawing things in or attracting things to you. But I'm not talking about medicinally, I'm just talking about magic. I put catnip in my come to me oil um, recipe. Shrines and shots if you ever do it on a Friday. How would could we have our witch Wednesday on a Friday? Oh, you guys, new announcement. I've decided that first and third Wednesdays is what the schedule is going to be going forward. So starting in November, we're going to do first and third Wednesdays. And I've decided that since the streams are so fun and popular, we're going to do them all the way through 2022. So there will at least be 26 more streams. 24 uh, streams, like twice a month in 2022, and then two more um, in November. Oh wait, two more in December, so that would make 28 total. My favorite for fall is clove, lavender, and rose. It's floral with added warmth. Hmm. Seven Seas, we'll be on for another hour. You're good. Go ahead and start a pot of chili. I figured this stream will be about an hour and a half. And the VOD will be up after the, 
the vi video afterwards will be up if you want to watch it. If you have to go, want to watch more later. Well, thank you for watching them in full afterwards. That's great. My average view duration on a three hour stream is three minutes and 41 seconds. Kids these days. But I understand it's kind of hard to watch a full um, stream without being able to um, chat with other people if you want to. If you're watching it live, it's a little easier because you can chime in. Try to watch the, um, the chat a little bit. I'm not great at responding to it yet, but... paper really soaks up the paint and it dries pretty quickly. Okay, goodness. That was a lot. music is too loud in comparison to my voice. Renee is... Hi, Stacy, JC. Jill, yeah, I'm glad that I'm continuing the streams. I think that twice a month is a good commitment. So the piano is too loud. Just going to lower this a little bit. There we go. Does that seem better? Is it a little bit more in the background? I can lower it even further if it's still annoying. Elegant Bell, thank you so much. Just teeny tiny more. Okay, that was a teeny tiny bit more. That's good. Okay. Let me know because I... Yeah, okay, cool. That is fine. Okay, we're going to go in with the greens now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use two different paint brushes because I'm gonna use this darker green a little bit more. Cause I don't wanna do two more passes, so more like putting the darker green in and then putting kind of the citron over it a little bit. Just a few little swipes. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to have glitter all over it and it's also going to have leaves on top of it. So we're, we're really just going to go for quick and dirty. So what do you guys think about me re-editing all the footage from one of these live streams into a short video and putting that on this on the channel? Because I find that people's average view duration is really only three or four minutes. So I feel like a really edited down version is also kind of needed. 
for people who want to quickly see what happened. But I don't want to feel like, you know, I'm really doubling up on like one piece of content twice. Maybe it's something I should release later. I don't, I don't know. I feel like if I, um, I really put, release too many videos at once, um, some people are happy to have a lot of content, but a lot of people will miss several videos because they only, you know, check back once a week or a couple times a week, so. We miss. <laughs> My phone seems to be possessed. <laughs> Kay would watch both. Yes, do it. Everything should have glitter all over it. Yes, agreed. This is why we're friends IRL. Because we both believe, we both worship at the shrine of glitter. Really, the less you think about these mark make, making, the better they look, I think. If you try to plan it out too much, it actually looks too planned out. Oh, you guys, I want to show you our paper from before. It's dry now. Look at the glitter. Look at Slimer. It's getting there. We're getting there. Can you add cinnamon powder to the paint? Well, I suppose you could. There's absolutely no reason why. You couldn't do that. You could use moon water in to rinse your brushes with. You could keep a, a little statue of a deity that inspires you. Right by your desk where you do your artwork. Now this is Ganesha, and he is remover of obstacles, but he's also, uh, I don't know, he's an inspiration and in creativity and art, so I always keep my little Ganesha right here. And he will definitely be one of the uh, shrine um, streams that we do. I think I'm going to make a shrine out of a lantern for him. I have some ideas percolating in my head for uh, the Ganesha shrine. Now I don't really say that I have patron or matron deities. But if I did say that, Ganesha would be my boy. He also loves a nice sweet bun. And I do too. Oh, you don't have to be artistically inclined to do this. Let me tell you, I just um, make marks. I'm literally just making marks. This is impossible to mess up. I'm not a classically trained artist or anything. I just uh, have the uh, willingness to try anything that I see. If somebody else can do it, then there's no reason why I can't do it. And, um, 
There you go. I mean, of course, that doesn't mean like I can draw in perfect perspective or, um, you know, Leonardo da Vinci style, but I can, I'm willing to give anything a try. Some of my videos are crafty kind of fails and I still, I still publish them. I don't mind admitting that I failed at something. Every craft and art project that you try is not going to come out perfectly. Whoop, these stuck together. And as much as I try to think ahead for these streams and figure out what I'm going to do um, and what order I should do everything in, and it, it always goes a little bit awry. So we just freeform it. <laughs> Whoops, put that in the wrong color. Or did I? Well, whoever is a pen pal by tomorrow morning, that's when we're making the, uh, making the mailing labels are getting the absolute most complex cards I've ever made. <laughs> this is, these cards are no joke. We're still only at layer number two and there's going to be four layers. is for Ganesh, yeah, and maybe some um, little, like the little orange flowers, what are they called? The name escapes me right now. And also, you know, hibiscus, he's associated with hibiscus. So here we go. We've got several of these guys. We're going to let them dry. Sorry for the shaky shaky. Um... So do you guys want to make a sigil now? Hello, nice to see you too, Star Search. We'll just call you Star Search. Let's keep it positive. Yeah, lotuses, hibiscus, and the other flower that I cannot think of right now. So I want to um, include a sigil in the cards that is all about autumn vibes and positive vibes. Sigils are kind of my thing, so I'm just going to use one of my sigil worksheets that I've been developing, probably for another video sometime. I always try to do videos with different ways of making sigils. I've got about four different methods. So this is kind of like an artistic sigil. There's a lot of them with graphs where you have numbers and you take your 
your letters and you remove the you remove the vowels and you just use one set of consonants and then you put it in a graph and you make your shapes and those are great I love those but I wanted to do some uh, more artistic ones I'm going to be doing a book, um, one of my magical crafting books, like all the different grimoires I put out. Um, that's just going to be these worksheets on different ways of making sigils. So I've been working on try trying to come up with the design of each sheet. So this is what I've got so far. It may not stay like this. So my sigil is going to say, um, Awesome Autumn Vibes. I'm a lefty, so I turned my paper. But then I realized I wanted to do something that had to do with leaves and autumn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these letters and make it more of a round version. I proper stamped a sigil made of leaves once on an invitation to a ritual. Oh, I love that. It depends, iron, it just it depends on which method you use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my A and I'm going to draw it like this. So it's rounded and the same thing with my W. I'm going to do my E like that. My M like that. So everything, see how everything has those rounded shapes to them. Like that. And then I'm going to make my V rounded. My E is going to look like that. So there's all my shapes. So in this case, I'm not going to take out the consonants. I'm going to leave, I mean, me and the vowels, I'm going to leave everything in because I want to use all the shapes of this, of this phrase. So I'm going to break down my letter shapes. So here is my A. And then we have one of these lines like that. Here's my W. Here's my E. And my S. We have an O. Put that over there. My M, my E, so that's awesome. You can see the shapes of the word awesome. Now we're going to do autumn, A, and there's the line. Oops, it's not, there we go. U, T, U. M, N, V, I, B, E, S. So these are all the shapes we have to work with. Now these shapes can go together in a million different ways. Start with my O. My three lines. My small lines. How many of these do I have? I 
and do 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. We can make a flower using some of these. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 more. There's a sigil. It could be. Another option is to turn each one of these set of two into an oval. So now we've used our circles on our lines. So each one of these ovals is a, an up one and a down one. This looks like autumn. This looks like fall. Really, there are so many possibilities and ways that you could put this together. It's really just a bunch of shapes that you can put together in any way. I really like something like this. I think this is going to be somewhere close to our final sigil that I'll be sending out in the card. And so when my patrons receive this, what they're going to get, the energy they're going to get off of this is awesome autumn vibes. So they can put this somewhere in their home or their car, or their office, and just feel, you know, a little bit of seasonal joy. And that's the intent of the sigil. And that's the energy I'll put into it when I create them. I think this is the winner. It 
It almost looks like a um, like a folk, uh, like an embroidery pattern for uh, some trim or something. Oh, hi, Tammy. Okay, I miss I miss saying goodbye. I was so focused on making these sigils. <laughs> So that's, I think that's the answer. I think this one's the winner. Let's get back to our cards, shall we? It's time to add glitter to these babies. The paint I'm going to be using is called Glitterific. It's hard to read even when it is focused. Glitterific. It's a chunky glitter paint. And it's got kind of a clear substance that it's suspended in. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors. Everybody just arrived at the office next door, so it might be really loud for a minute. Once again, it doesn't really take any special skill. It's just mark making. We're just going to put a little bit of um, glitter in the air to make it. have a little extra special glitterness to it. Yeah, Princess, that last one kind of makes me feel like some kind of autumnal Oh, the magic sigils on barns. Yeah, it kind of looks a little uh, folkish not folkish that's not the word I wanted but farm farmhouse cottage core I'm not sure but the word is definitely not folkish oh look at this you guys glitter is my favorite it hasn't even dried and I'm in love with it I'm your, I'm your witchy Bob Ross <laughs> without the perm. I tried some new purple dye on my hair and it went really dark. So now I have to try some other purple dye to try to bring it back to my purple purple because my normal purple hair looks like, like this purple. And uh, yeah. The new dye I used made my hair look like this purple. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, the glitter. I just have to show you every one like you, you, like you didn't just see the last one. What's the idea behind this, the hex signs? Keeping away evil, I assume. Maybe a good harvest. Maybe keeping the animals from becoming sick. I'm, I'm only guessing here. Because I can't do the Google right now. But I love to learn stuff. Oh look, there's another one, you guys.
This glitterific paint is amazing. It's kind of hard to work with because it's so thick, but for this application, it's just right. Bob Ross' YouTube channel had 10 hour painting marathons the past three days for his birthday. His Twitch channel, or do you mean, is it, he's, I assume he's on YouTube uh, also. The point of YouTube is you can watch the videos anytime, so you can, you can make your own marathon if you want, I suppose. Pennsylvania Dutch folk art related to fracture. This glitter might take a minute to dry, but it's going to be worth it, I think, in the long run. It really adds a lot to these cards. I probably should have done this before making the sigil, and that way it would have given it a little bit more time to dry. Oh, Red Lorena, if you wash your hair in super hot water, you can get more color out that way. Well, I did color with the developer this time, so it's not just the conditioner application that I was doing before. I tried something new, but that's a permanent dye now, <laughs> unfortunately. It's okay, though. I'll fix it. I just got really tired of the semi-permanent, always washing out, always having to um, recover the growth, but not just the growth, but like the washed out areas. So I thought I would try one with a developer. Last one. Then we're going to make, right after I finish all this glitter, we're going to make our um, pieces of leaves. I'm going to set these aside to dry. Oh, this little bowl is like a like the shape of a rose it's kind of fun I think it's meant to put like vegetables in for a, a dinner party but I always use it for paint all right I'm gonna set these aside to dry Sorry about that. I dragged my hand across the mic. The mic stand. I hope I didn't blow everybody's eardrums out. Yeah. 
Yeah, Lady Galaxia, I'm just coming up on my fourth year of purple hair, and it's just the struggle is so real with the washing out. Oh, JL, you paid 200 See, I do my own when I've been doing purple for four years, and I'm just, I mean, the washing out thing is fine for people who want to have purple hair for a few months, but I want to have purple hair, like, for realsies, so I just got tired of it. So all of these um, punches are linked in the description below if you feel the need to purchase them. My affiliate links. One part color to two part conditioner when you wash in the shower and it lasts, but then your shower looks like you killed a Muppet. One of the reasons I do these nails is because when I have purple hair that's not permanent, my nails turn purple in the shower. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So you can see I've done one as a tester. And this is why I have the thinner paper, because these punches were really struggling with water, with true watercolor paper, because uh, you had to get so much leverage. Look at that with the glitter paint and the mica colors. It looks like a fall leaf. I live. Come on. Magical crafting. And everyone is unique. You cannot get the same pattern twice because it's all just how cool is this, you guys? I live. Look at the glitter. I only did the background on 10 cards, but I am going to be sending out about 30 cards. So I'm going to go ahead and try and punch out a lot of these guys. This is the largest one I could find, Lady Galaxia. I'm going to be using this every autumn for the next few years. They're not cheap. This one was about 20 I think this is about 15 These little guys were like the 10 or $11. stream. Nope, 
sorry, I keep hitting the mic. These are, I believe, the oak, the oak leaves. And then some of these little corners here. Kind of use up the corners with the little birch leaves. When I made all of the color labels for my paint, I broke three of those Fisker punches on my watercolor paper. As soon as I did the watercolor test, I abandoned all hope for using these on watercolor paper. They are way too, this would not cut through anything. The only one that would do watercolor paper was this giant one because I think it distributes the pressure a little bit better. I mean, even just the deckled edge of this is kind of fun. <laughs> to use as something, I don't know. I love the ones that have these little patches of um, the dark, the dark uh, burgundy as well. From what I remember when I used to not live in San Diego, that's what leaves look like. <laughs> yeah, oh, birch leaves are usually quite yellow, yes. But not on these cards. Birch Birch trees, birch leaves are gorgeous. Yeah, we should try getting these these birch leaves in the in the lighter yellow though to get them a little bit more true to life, huh? It's a good idea. So we're not going to be able to make all 10 cards, but I'm going to make three or four using what I've punched out because I did want to end the stream at an hour and a half. 
Because as you know, we could just craft for days. Here's all of our leaves. Looks like fall happened right on my table. That was a good call on the yellow birch leaves. How fun is this? Trying to find the four driest ones. Might want to do a quick little dry with this. I do have a few, um, a few of these little guys. This is um, kind of a roll-on uh, glue. I don't know if that will ever focus. There we go. So that you could you could use any kind of glue for this. glue sticks or anything really just white glue drop that on the floor
almost feel like we should um, put like a little bit of like a with like a white a white pencil that shows that these guys are like flowing in the wind. <laughs> I don't know. So the glitter is not quite dry. I think you can probably tell it uh, still needs a little bit of drying time, but it's generally the idea. Is everybody talking about their dream gardens? There's a very aspirational place that... Uh, is in, in uh, kind of kind of near me called Summer's Past Farms and they have soap making and they have all sorts of um, just and they have a barn and they have a little shop and all sorts of garden stuff and everything changes seasonally it's very very aspirational they even have like a little coffee place so you can meet your friends there and have coffee in a in a garden setting or a almost it almost is kind of like a farm but not really talk about a dream garden Pretty that one is. Came out really pretty. I think that looks a little obvious to have that one little white spot there. So I'm going to just fill that in with a marker. I don't know why. <laughs> so inside each card is a little note that I send and I'm going to be putting some fall washi tape in there to hold the note in. And that way people can take the note out and they can reuse the card if they want to. So I never actually write in the cards, so uh, they can be recent. And then I'll also be putting the little uh, sigil inside. And I will be putting some autumn stickers as well, some little little decorative things that you can use in your planner or you can use on other cards or I thought I had a fourth oak leaf <laughs> but I guess I will have to use two two maples instead oh I used two on the other card that's what happens it's going crazy And I'll show you real quick the stickers that I'm going to include in the in the pen pal thing this month. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with those. So these are some of the fun autumn stickers that I'm going to be sending. Let's see. Oh, here's the other ones. And we went a little crazy with the foxes and the squirrels and the birds and the kitty cats. Everybody gets a few stickers in there. And I just love this one here. She, this looks like, like my little girl kitty at home. So mushrooms and some leaves, There's mushrooms, and some mushrooms there. So with these guys, I just, I just use, a, just use my inch and a half circle punch. I guess I have like three different kinds of mushroom ones. This one did not want to cut. Sometimes they don't like to cut if they're on the, um, the crease on the back for pulling the back paper off. It gets caught on that. chipmunk. <laughs> Hi Tammy, I'm so glad you're gonna get one of these. So that is what I have for you today. Here's all of our stickers we're gonna put inside the cards. I'm gonna put a sigil inside the cards okay. and this is generally what the cards are going to look like. And that is our finished pro product. It has a lot of layers and it's very complicated, but it's going to be worth it because they're going to be so cool. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so proud I kept it to an hour and a half, or at least I was close. So I'm getting a little bit better at the talking and the music and the timing and having everything and all of that stuff. So hopefully these streams will just get better and better. So the next stream is going to be the first 
Wednesday of the month. So it's always going to be the first and third Wednesdays of the month now. So, um, going forward. Thanks again for joining me, you guys. And I will uh, see you on the first Wednesday of November for another Shrine Craft. So that'll be a two or three hour stream as we'll be creating a shrine. You guys have a great night and thanks so much for joining me and thanks for watching. with you guys and craft with you guys. Bye Callie, bye Glitter. <laughs>